Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user Demelis. And he's driving the E50M on a standard battle on the Serene Coast. E50M is a very good tier 10 medium tank for the Germans. So I do want to give an apology to people who are subscribed to this channel for World of Tanks content because there hasn't been very much of that over the last few weeks. That's just because I've been taking a little bit of a break from World of Tanks. It doesn't really help that I'm super busy at the moment with it coming up to the Christmas period and uh, my work is uh, running a bar. So obviously that is very, very busy over the Christmas period. So I haven't had a chance to join Circumflexes or Sir Havoc at all on their live streams on the evenings. So uh, that is the reason why there's been a drastic slowdown of World of Tanks content. I'm hoping now that I should be able to get back to producing weekly World of Tanks content for everybody, obviously including some subscriber replays, but also some of my own content as well. Uh, own content, you may have to wait till after Christmas to see more of it, just because, like I said, super busy over Christmas. So Demela, straight away, going to be heading to the far left-hand flank, because he is a medium tank. Not quite loaded in time to get a shot on that Leopard, but is able to hit the Leopard 1. Looks, sounds like there's lots of heat ammunition flying around here, but it looks like the rest of his allies have turned up now. You can see the other platoon mate in the IS-4 is bringing up the rear here. There's an Object 140 with him as well. I think the enemy team has realised that it's not going particularly well, so they've started to fall back. You can see they are, they're obviously not very strong in this position, even though they are evenly matched, even outnumber the allies here. They're starting to fall back, not very confident of their position, especially thanks to the fact that this IS-4 with its fantastic armor has arrived. He's going to wade in there with all of his hit points and just soak up the damage. Demela's going to move in behind him. Looks like this T-62A tries to come in, but realises the error of his ways and just nopes the hell out of there immediately. And Demelis coming up and offering support to the IS-4. As the two tanks on the left-hand flank also push forward. And from being very evenly matched, this has turned into a complete rout. Leaves the Leopard with three hit points. But the T-30 takes him out. A little bit of a waste of a shell from him, considering Demelis could have easily rammed him as he's about to ram this T-62A. Wipes him out because the E-50M is one of the best tanks in the game to ram people with. And then gets a great shot between the houses on the Yag Panther 2. And as you can see, the Allies now have absolutely won their flank when, to be honest, the enemy team had stronger tanks there. They should have been able to push that one forward and win. But as you can see, momentum is a big thing on a flank. When you get the momentum, you can generally ride it through to victory. If you can get the enemy on the back foot, make them think that they're in a worse position than they actually are, you can carry a weaker flank to victory, as you just saw there. Nobody died that went on that left-hand flank. It does also help if you have much better players on the flank than the enemy team does. It's a great snapshot on the Ferdinand as he moves through. Going to try and take out this T-54, but looks like the Rheinmetall's come into view just to eliminate him. Nope, looks like there's a rock in the way, so Demelis just going to take him out. He's got his eyes firmly locked on this Knevin here. Knevin has no idea. Rams him and shoots him to take him out for kill number three. And now it's going to be a bit of a scramble to see who can get the last bits of damage on the last few tanks that the enemy has. Although, to be honest, the Allies are winning nine kills to four. This is by no means a foregone conclusion. The enemy team still does have an E100, T110 E5 and a Fosh 155. All tanks that are capable of kicking out a hell of a lot of damage. It looks like Demelis is going to help out his platoon mates now and focus on this Fosh 155. As the Object 140 attempts to flank him, he is behind a house. So Demelis just going to have to move forwards here. Hopefully he can get a shot on him. He can. He's going to wait for him to straighten up just a little bit. But he waited just slightly too long and the Object 140 took him out. But the shot probably would have bounced off that very angled armour of the Fosh if he had taken the shot. Still has four kills to his name and almost 5,000 damage. So regardless of what happens now, it's going to be a good game for him. They do have to be careful that they're not all going to attack single file into the last remaining tanks. It looks like no. The E100 gets himself taken out. That leaves an E75 and an AMX50-100. 
And the idea is going to have to be to try and close down the 5100 as quickly as possible. T54 might be in a bad spot if Demelis can't get there in time. Looks like the AMX 5100 not quite able to take out the T54. There we go, takes him out. Hopefully he's going to be reloading now, just having a quick check to the left to make sure that the Tiger, the E75 couldn't see him. Gets a good ram on the 5100. Not going very fast though, so not very much damage. 5100 tries to run away, but he's not fast enough. He gets taken out for kill number five. You can see that he was playing very well there as he was moving up to engage the 5100. He was just constantly checking that the E75 didn't have a firing line on him. Even though he could have easily taken the hit, he didn't know how many shells the 5100 had left. But as it is, he's coming in now on the E75. One good ram should be all it takes. Not quite enough. Looks like the T30 has bounced, so this should be Demelis' kill. It is indeed kill number six. And the victory does get taken out by his platoon mate and the object 140 there just for the lols at the end. But what an awesome replay there by Demelis. Picking himself up 6,500 points of damage, 6 kills, a well-deserved top gun medal. Really helping carry his team to victory as we saw on that left-hand flank where they very easily overpowered the enemy to bring their team to victory. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that is in the description. I have been Maxwell. This has been a World of Tanks replay, and I will catch you guys next time.